guys, and welcome back to Outside the Cookie Jar. I'm Jackie, Jackie the Baker, and today I think we are going to be making, no, I know we are going to be making some fabulous St. Patrick's Day brownie bars. Ah, so what it is, it's a fudge brownie. On the bottom layer is a fudge brownie, and then on top is going to be a mint chocolate chip cookie dough icing, and it's going to be a thick layer, so it is going to be awesome. And I really, really hope that you enjoy this recipe. So let's get baking. Okay, so let's get started. I have in this bowl half a cup of white sugar and half a cup of brown sugar. So we're just gonna mix this up a little bit. And then we are going to add one and a quarter teaspoon of espresso powder. It gives, this gives it a real chocolatey chocolate taste. <laughs> so we do that. We'll just mix it up in here real good. All right, and now we are going to add our chocolate. Now, instead of adding cocoa powder, I'm actually gonna add melted chocolate to mine. Now this right here is melted chocolate. It is one and a half cups of chocolate chips. You could go with any kind of chocolate chips you like. Um, I actually did like a half of semi, half of dark, and half of milk chocolate. And you want to pour a three-fourths of a cup of hot butter in here. That way the chocolate will melt. And once the chocolate melted, you want to just let it sit for a while just to cool off. Now we're going to add it to here. We're just going to mix this up. Mix this up real good. As you can see, this is what it looks like. There we go. Now, this is going to be odd. But now you want to add the flour. I have one cup of flour and I also have like a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now, if you want to add like a living agent, um, I would guess you can add in like a quarter teaspoon of like a baking soda. That is if you kind of want your brownies to rise. I just kind of want it for like a layer of the uh, mint chocolate chip uh, cookie dough icing. So we can want to just do this a little at a time. Okay, everything's incorporated. It's going to be really thick. This is how thick it will be. Now, this is where you add four eggs. Now I scrambled mine. You can add in one egg at a time if you like, but I scrambled four eggs in here. So I'm going to put like half in first, stir it up, and then the other half. I also put in about two teaspoons of vanilla. So you want to mix this in. That was a workout that actually took about five minutes to do. I'm just gonna cut it out. You don't need me to do this for five minutes. I'll watch you do it. Nah. This is what it should look like after your eggs are incorporated. Now, like I always do, preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit. One day, I'm going to mention this, like, honest to God, I'm going to mention it in the beginning of the video. I'm going to spray a 9x9 nine nine baking pan. Now, I use parchment like I always do. It's just an easier cleanup. 
it's like recommended, really. So you just want to pour it in there. Now this is a large amount of batter. So if you want to, if you have like a larger pan, let's say like a 10 by 10 pan or um, 11 by 7 pan, I've done that before too. Actually, it works pretty well with 11 by 7 uh, baking pan. So it cooks in less time, of course. So, okay. Now just take, and I always use a clothes pan, so it's a good tip to have, like, if you have clothes pans and you have, like, parchment paper that keeps it all over the place once you put it in the pan, just get some clothes pins, do what I do, it stays in place. Okay, now we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven, and we're going to start off with 25 minutes. Then we're going to check it. If it doesn't come out clean with the toothpick, always put more time on it. I would say about three extra minutes at a time. So, I shall see you when these are baked. Oh, you want to make them 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah. Unless it's a smaller pan or a bigger pan, uh, you're going to have to adjust that because I usually put it in a 9 by 9 an 11 by 7 usually takes about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, I'm done. I'll see you when it's done. Hi, guys. So, the brownies are done. Right here. Um, also, I have to uh, confess I did make a mistake on the oven temperature. Be sure you bake them at 375 and not 350. I guess it's because I'm so used to saying 350 on most of my things. I'm really terribly sorry, but yes, make sure you bake these at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so while the brownies are cooling, why don't we just go ahead and make the cookie dough frosting for them, the cookie dough layer. So right here, I got a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. Then you want to add to this one stick of softened butter. Make sure you get all that butter into um, in here. At least most of it in there. Yeah. And not on you. So what you want to do is just go ahead and mix it in there. I know you really can't see it because I had to change my bowl. Um, because it was just not big enough and the rest of the bowls are occupied. So we're going to go ahead and just cream these together. So. And now what you want to do is you want to okay, you want to add one fourth teaspoon of vanilla. And then you want to add about a half a teaspoon, okay, a half a teaspoon of mint extract. Um, I don't have mint extract, so I'm using peppermint. So if you're, if you're using peppermint, I would probably suggest going just a little bit less than a half a teaspoon because peppermint extract is stronger than mint. So, I'm going to go ahead and use a little over a fourth, because I let that run over a little bit. All right, you want to go ahead and cream those two together. And I can really smell that peppermint. So, these will be great for any kind of St. Patrick's Day potluck. Trust me. Everybody will enjoy these. Now, you want to use, right now I have uh, leaf green, leaf green gel food coloring. So I do that, and then what I want is go as much green as possible with this. Uh, 
I like it kind of a pale green though. That goes like everywhere. So let's do that. All right, let's see what that. Okay, got that right there. All right, this will lighten up once the flower is in there. Okay, now before you add the flower, you want to definitely cook this flower. So I cooked mine on. 375 for about eight to ten minutes and um it's three-fourths of a cup now and like fourth of a teaspoon of uh, salt so you definitely want if you're afraid that is if you're afraid of using raw flour i just want to play it safe so we're gonna go ahead and add this about half of it half at a time I'll really get yourself like a workout here. And I think I put too much green in here. So we got the green here. Now, if it's too thick to your liking, which will be like a dough consistency. You can always put in one teaspoon to one tablespoon of either milk or um, water. So I'm gonna go ahead and put like maybe about a teaspoon of water and you know, to see if it will uh, not be as stiff. Okay, what I did right here was end up putting about two teaspoons of water in it. As you can see, it's not as thick, and it's actually like a cookie dough consistency. So what we're going to do is add in the chocolate chips. Now, what I did, I had on hand these little things. So um, they're like the mint fudge chips. I got them at Walmart. So I added like a fourth of a cup to this, and then I also added like a half a half a cup of the um, regular chocolate chips. Add that in there. So as you can see, your icing will be done. I'm not going to lie, this is a little bit more greener than I would like, but that's okay. It's St. Patrick's Day, so that's why we're doing this. Okay, now if you don't want to use the flour, you could go ahead and use substitute like um, maybe like one and a half cups of uh, powdered sugar or go with two cups of powdered sugar. Um, just uh, leave out the half a cup of brown and half a cup of white sugar or else it'll be like really sweet. So we're going to wait until the brownies are cold off and then we will assemble it. So, All right, welcome back everyone. And these are the brownies that are frosted, cold. I put them in the freezer for about an hour or so. We are ready to dig in. Okay. All right. Let's dig in. Oh my god, if you like brownies, if you like mint chocolate chip, if you like like a sugar dough, cookie dough, 
or chocolate chip cookie though, you are going to love these. I'm going in for seconds. Oh my goodness. See the happy dance. If you like what you see, subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment, share. If you share, I get more um, audience that way, and I'll be much obliged if you did. Okay, thank you for watching. Love you guys.